Greetings, divine souls. I greet in the name of our Father, Mother, God, plus all the divine light kingdom. I uh, ask you kindly for all the words that you're going to listen to in, co in case they don't uh, resonate with your heart. I ask you to discard them or use them to jumpstart the truth that is within your being. Uh, the reading for now is from uh, the angels whom we call Amayembe Amazade Ramalunji among the Baganda community. Uh, it goes like this, greetings, my, our dear friends, uh, we love you so much. Um, pray with us for a moment here. Imagine living your life as an, an, as an innocent child. For a moment, set aside your worldly concerns and, and Neither remember or if childhood did not permit such freedom. Imagine living this way. Imagine waking up eager for the adventure of the following day. Perhaps you were doing something you enjoyed before bed and you cannot wait to wake up and get your cures, your cure, cures done and pray again. Perhaps, uh, perhaps you have the, the promise of going on an outing that you are looking forward to and you are not sure if it is tomorrow or 10 days from now since time is not uh is not a concept you have fully mastered perhaps um you are thinking of all the fun things you can do in your life you may have school or schoolwork but you must do it and you uh breathe through and breathe through it while looking forward to the rest of the fun uh, you have imagined perhaps uh, you look at someone uh, very angry and different from you and you and you watch them with a sense of wonder i wonder why they are so mad what's wrong with them are they okay perhaps you see someone someone crying i wonder why they are so sad I want to give them a hug. It's going to be okay. You are fresh from heaven. You know the truth. Perhaps someone you loved died. You missed them, but you know they are in heaven and you walk to them in your mind. Oh, I mean, you talk to them in your mind. Dear ones, this innocent, uh, wise one still lives within you. This is the authentic you at the very core. It is the pure, unadulterated, innocent, wise, knowing, trusting spirit within you. No matter who did or did not understand this bright, beautiful core of your being, it exists. No matter who abandoned you or controlled you, it exists. No matter who cherished you or advocated for you, uh, belittled you, like, let, let you cured you, ashamed you, abused you, it still exists. Untethered, innocent, pure, wise, and waiting for you to bring this beautiful light of God within to the surface. We hear you. I am abandoned. That's what you say. Many of you were abandoned by human beings, some, phys some physically and some mentally. And, and you need not abandon your own pure and beautiful spirit. I was abused. We, we, ask, we, we hear you saying that. Yes, we see this. Many of you were treated in unthinkable ways by those who lost their ability to think and feel from their spirit years before you were born. You did you you need not you didn't you need not abuse yourself any longer by denying the purity and the grace and beauty within. But I was torn from robbed of my innocency. You say like that, dear one, we understand that others who felt impure have uh, convinced many of you that you are not pure. But that's a lie. That's a lie, my brothers. 
Even if someone has defiled the temple of your body, the spirit within is pure, holy, and unadulterated and innocent still. You may have forgotten. You may have you have you may have been convinced by those who were convinced uh, of their own lives. You may have been conditioned and trained to please the brief systems of others, and nevertheless, this pure, wise, innocent, holy being exists within, patiently waiting for you to acknowledge its presence. Take a moment. Breathe deeply. Allow yourself a moment to relax into the knowing that there is a pure, wise, innocent, and holy being within you. This is no less than the spirit of the divine. In the form of your unique, precious, and very individual soul, this is your core essence. The true you are as an individual. This is the part of you that although you may have forgotten it, it has not forgotten you. This is the part of you that is pure light and will never abuse you, but wait patiently to surface, knowing that as soon as you stop abusing yourself, it will, it will arise within. This is the part of you that can never abandon you and never will, although you can temporarily forget, thus abandon it. This, dear ones, is the one that you want to be reconnect, reconnect with or connect with more deeply, deeply, because this is the one you that is un, un, unbound, unbounded and knows no limit on what is possible in life. This is the you. That, the, that dares to dream. Take time to connect with this part of yourself. Take time to ask, spirit within, innocent one, dear core of my being, wise one within, whatever name you choose, come to the surface. Rise up within me. I love you. I am here for you. I will not abandon I will not abandon you a second longer. I will not criticize you when you come up within me. Offering suggestions that delight even if they seem un, unachievable or impractical. I will not negate your purity, your innocence and your wisdom. Raise up within me and guide me. I love you. I know you are the truth within me. What would you like me to know right now? Then wait, my brother. Wait, divine soul. Breathe. Wait for the pure, innocent wise, loving being within to tell you. Present day you, what it wants you to know. Then be open to receive the pure, innocent, wise, loving guidance from your true self. Do this often, my dear ones, and your life will start to change. The divine child wants you to enjoy life and embrace every moment with a sense of, of adventure. The divine child rests in the, in the security of God's love. The divine child does not think to judge facts, friction, or form. The divine child loves to love. And dear ones, that is the true, deep, real, wise, innocent, loving you.
God bless you and we love you so much. We are the angels. Uh, before I conclude this reading, I want to help mostly the newcomers or those who don't know how to connect with your divine one. Uh, set an intention uh, with an intention being guided my, with my spirit. Uh, call on all uh, your divine or call on all the divine um, light beings uh, within your family and within all uh, the creation. And then after that, I'm speaking this for, uh, in, in a general way because among the Baganda, we use coffee beans as we make this procession. Now, when uh, imagine getting into uh, a pyramid, imagine getting into a pyramid or any house, you can imagine any house that is white, find uh, uh, something you sit on that is white in color after 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 sitting imagine a white light coming from above uh getting into your uh your 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 head chakra or the seventh chakra uh down uh through your body to the to mother earth after create a circle behind your body to create a protection uh for any attack in the astral world after doing that and and you feel that the circle behind your uh your 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 back is being created saturating the infinite uh white light um in your uh creation or in your in your uh horic field um call i mean imagine uh seeing a mirror in front of you see yourself or oh, it doesn't matter even if, even if you don't see yourself it doesn't matter but see a mirror because the mirror will reflect your yourself, which is your soul. At the side, put there uh, a male um, light being in a white, white, white clothing, and a, and a female uh, light being in white clothing. Then after, see a white light or a golden light, whatever light that you choose, being guided by your soul. Uh, you see uh, light, one light coming from the forehead of the of your soul, from the mirror coming to your forehead, and then another uh, from your heart chakra or in the zones of your chest, in in the middle of the ch of your chest. Or for those who don't know the chakras, then see the white light or golden light coming from uh, your soul in the mirror coming to you. Then after get uh, quiet. You can do this uh, always in the evening. Instead of making verbal prayers, this is a major prayer because it 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 charges you to be uh, your soul. So you can make it in the morning. You make the verbal prayers you've been doing always, and then in the evening you just sit with your soul for the time that you want, and then uh, after you go and sleep. Uh, it's better doing this, you light up a candle in front of you always, uh, not only doing this practice, but always when you're making spiritual practices, please light up a candle in front of you so that you connect uh, with your father who is in the solar, uh, in the solar nature. All right, namaste.